Hey, how are you guys? I'd like to talk to you about a project that I've been doing with the UK Cabinet Office, Philip's over there, um, based on something that I think we care quite a lot about, and that is UK government spending. So I'm going to show you a pretty picture to start with. This is a map which demonstrates UK government spending for the last year. Now, there's a few things that instantaneously come out of this because the size of these bubbles indicate the size of the amount of money for a given contract the government has given out. And the density sort of indicates how, how also the, the opaqueness indicates how dense, how densely these contracts are being given out as well. So my point is that just with this simple picture, we can kind of see that the government seems to be doing quite a lot up north, for one thing. London's, you know, London's London. Wales is pretty bare, have to say, but also I'm from Norwich, so they're doing all right, actually. They're doing fine. But this highlights the point. It's UK election time. It has been very recently. We care, and in, especially in this time of austerity, how the government spends our money. It's something that we kind of hold quite dear. And there's 250 billion pounds of this spending every single year in contracts. Now, what I've been working on, so here's how it works. Governments put up this contract, and companies try and bid for it to try and get the, the, the government's business. Now, as you can kind of imagine from, from Economics 101, the more companies you have trying to bid for these contracts, the better deal the government is going to get, simply. So I want to have a little bit of, I want you guys to think about this for a second. How much money do you think the government can spend on a single contract by opening it up to everybody? How much do you think they've, 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 they've saved in the past? So I want you to raise your hands if you think it's as much as 30%. Do you think the government could spend, could save 30% if they gave up their contracts and, and spread it out amongst lots and lots of people? So it's actually, so you guys don't think they could save 30%. I'm going to give you a hint. It's more than 30%. So you can raise your hands right now. So the, more than 30%. So what's, what is true is that, keep raising your hands, keep raising your hands. The government can definitely spend more than 30%. Do you think they could spend more than 50%? Now, if you think that they can't, then you can put your hands down, and only then. Do you think the government can save more than 50%? More than 60%? More than 70%? So you're getting closer. In fact, the government can save, and has saved, as much as 99% just by opening out these contracts to, to smaller companies, especially in tech, which is insane. Because this is your money that the government is inefficiently spending. Um, so the real challenge is, how do you get more and more of these companies to bid for these contracts? And this is what I've been working on as part of my ASI project. Um, but how do we increase this competition? And I'll tell you how. You automatically recommend them contracts using natural language processing on their company descriptions. And that is exactly what I've been doing. And it's something I'd like, to, I'd encourage you to try out for yourself. So I've built a web application that takes any company in the UK. You input the, number, the company name, and it will recommend you contracts that are relevant to you that you can instantaneously bid on and give the government a better deal and make yourself you know, involved in, 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 in company spending. So I'm going to go through an example here on the slides. So RDF Building is a company in Leeds. It's a building company, as you can probably tell. It's got no idea about government contracts. It, you know, the, the businesses that it does are the, 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 the roofs down the road. You know, it doesn't have any idea about government contracts. It puts itself into my service. Oh, look, okay. It finds itself. I query the Cabinet Office API, not the um, company sales API, sorry. And what happens? Turns out there are 17 contracts for this company that it can instantaneously bid on. And the first one, very fortuitously, is a roofment replacement works in Tyne and Weir for the fire and rescue service, not too far away from where they are. And that is something that is going to give your government and my government better bang for buck using that cliche and help us spend money more efficiently. Thank you very much.